In this video, we are going to cover the basic operating procedures for the United States Systems automatic pallet dispenser and bulk bag filling machine. Remember to always exercise caution when using any piece of industrial machinery. The first step in operating the US Systems pallet dispenser is energizing the control panel. Next, we disengage the e-stop button by pulling on it. With the control panel now operational, we bring the table up to receive the first pallet by selecting the up mode option on the lift table selector switch. Now we're going to check the presets on our scale indicator. The scale is reading zero at this point. We push preset and it brings up the preset one indicator message. Press enter and it brings up the preset value, which is set at 150 pounds. We like that for this demo, so we want to leave it and press enter. The screen indicates that we are now looking at preset 2. Press enter and we see that 200 pounds is stored in preset 2. We like that for this demo so we keep it. Press enter to exit and we're ready to load pallets into the pallet dispenser. The operator manually places the first pallet into the dispenser. With the first pallet placed into the dispenser, we can now load the rest of the pallets with a forklift. With the stack of pallets loaded into the pallet dispenser, move the lift table selector switch from the up to the auto position. The table lowers and the flipper arms pick the second pallet from the stack and then the table continues to lower and picks the bottom pallet from the stack and drops it onto the conveyor. The pallet remains on the pallet dispenser awaiting an operator call from the start conveyor push button. Push the start conveyor button to bring the empty pallet from the pallet dispenser onto the deck of the fill station. The pallet dispenser automatically picks another pallet from the bottom of the stack and stages it onto the pallet dispenser conveyor awaiting another call. The operator then presses the latches in button to bring the far latches close to the operator and then the latches close button to ready the latches for accepting a bulk bag. The operator then swings the loops of the bulk bag over the latches. Next, pull the inlet sleeve of the bulk bag over the cuff on the fill spout. Then the operator pushes the inflatable cuff push button directly overhead. The cuff is designed to inflate and hold the inlet sleeve in place. The operator steps off of the scale and pushes the start fill push button. The auto filling light comes on. The bag inflation fan comes on. The machine inflates the bag. After timeout of the bag inflation, the scale auto filling process opens the gate after it auto tears the scale. The inlet valve shown here is detached from the machine to illustrate its function. We are now in the bulk fill mode. Our preset weight is 150 pounds for this demo. Since the operator's body weighs more than 150 pounds, he'll place that weight on the scale and watch the indicator go up, and we'll see if we can achieve a dribble set point. Now we're in dribble at 160 pounds and gaining, and we're looking for 200 pounds as our final set point. Once the scale reaches 200 pounds, the inlet valve closes. After the scale settles, the latches automatically open and drop the loops and the cuff of the fill spout deflates to automatically drop the inlet sleeve. At this point, the operator can now close the inlet sleeve and tie it shut. He now presses the conveyor start push button so the bulk bag can exit from the fill station. The bag is not completely full because this is a demo. As the filled bag is exiting from the fill station to the gravity accumulation conveyor, the empty pallet from the next bulk bag is staged to the fill station and the pallet dispenser automatically dispenses another pallet.